spring is in the air everywhere you look around hello welcome to another episode of blooms for you where i get to say personal thank yous to everybody who has supported my channel here on ninja orchids from jump street and throughout almost one year thank you everybody for tuning in i really appreciate it and spring is indeed in the air not only regarding the orchids but look at this jasmine oh my goodness there is somebody verboten to be cutting these off if they are falling over my side of the fence no chopping this off i will take care of it myself eventually i need this in my life the smell of jasmine, it's beautiful. And look at these cute little blooms. Oh my goodness, and then the buds. And it's only the beginning. So happy. And no, of course it's not an orchid, but what I'm going to do is say thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching because this video is kind of long. Can't help it. Had a lot to say, had a lot to show, and had a lot of people to thank. So there won't be any going back and saying, appreciate you watching. I'm gonna tell you that right now and then just get into the video and hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Lots to have a look at and a sniff at. Let's go. This is an amazing bloom cycle of my Roy Tokonaga. And I have currently got nine spikes open. Granted, one of the spikes is a single bud, but I'm counting, <laughs> I'm counting. And while we are only looking at only a partial view of all the blooms, I want to say thank you to Aniruda Traveler, Hopla Backyard Farm, Stephanie Milne, Sincerely Vicious, Kathleen Murphy, Kirsten C, and KB's Plants and Orchids. The reason I'm doing it close up is because I'm trying to get some kind of a idea of the gorgeousness of these blooms before going out and panning out to see the whole orchid. Because these blooms, as you can see, they face mainly downward. And it's very difficult to really get in and see how gorgeous, gorgeous these blooms are. Even as I look at my screen, I'm hoping that it is in focus. Oh, they're beautiful. And they are super long lasting. So something I really appreciate about this hybrid is how long these blooms last. Probably about eight weeks from opening, maybe even 10. So the previous two spikes have been open for quite some time now, giving me a lot of opportunity to wait for the others to open and still have fresh blooms none of which have faded nothing has deteriorated yet and all the spikes are now open look at that marvelous okay let's pan out and have a look at the whole orchid some of the blooms are in the sun resulting in a bit of a whiteout. But look at the ones in the shade. This is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Let's go in a bit closer because look at them from the top. It's almost like the orchid says, my pretty side is on the back. <laughs> I will not go into details what I mean by that. But she faces down all the time. These blooms don't present themselves upright. If I were to train them with a stake or something, I suppose that would give them an upright presentation. I just don't like to stake my spikes at all. I like them doing their natural thing. And it's easier, of course, standing in front of the orchid. You can get really close and look at everything really nicely. Different when you're trying to film them. Each and every bloom, there's just so much beauty and so much detail on them. I keep doing this because I'm not entirely sure the camera is picking up. So forgive me for the repetitiveness. 
but Roy Takanaga is worthy of a really, really close look. I think these blooms are just magnificent. Here's the one with a single bud. I call it a spike anyway, and here you can see how they start out a little bit with the chartreuse flaring before they become a beautiful white. And then you can see the spotting in the back. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. Nothing wrong with this orchid. Now we can dispute whether it's a pointless exercise because she's not fragrant. But in my books, I don't need fragrance all the time. I've been very blessed with some very fragrant orchids and sometimes it is nice just to give the nose a little bit of a rest. So once again, Aniruda Traveler, Hopele Backyard Farm, Stephanie Moon, Sincerely Vicious, Kathleen Murphy, Kirsten C, and KB's Plants and Orchids. That completes the nine spikes dedicated to you as a thank you very much for your support on my channel. The two previous spikes were already given away, but here we are. Dendrobium Roy Tokonaga is in full bloom. One more time, thank you so very, very much for being here. And if there's a channel that I can discern, the links are in the description. The oranges, the reds, the blues, can any camera actually pick it up? My second orange nugget, yes, I have two, <laughs> has two spikes, one of which is going to Boss Marcus and the other one to Orchid Lore. Thank you to both of you very, very much for being here on my channel. Very much appreciated. Haven't seen either of you in a very long time, but I have not forgotten. You were here at some point and now you are here with your bloom, Z, plural, because the spikes on this orange nugget have got five blooms on this bottom spike, even though two are not quite open, but from their presentation, I like to do it like this because you get the fresh, you get the little bit further along, and none of them are, are looking just as aged. And up here is another spike with two, four, also five blooms. Boss Marcus and Orchid Lore, my second orange nugget blooms for you. And I like to have also some in the sun and some in the shade, but it doesn't work so well. So we're gonna take this one down as well and have a closer look-see. So I brought my second one out, Lelio Catlia Fuchs, Orange Nugget Dresden. A mouthful, but here we are. Because I wanted to show you that these are the same because they came from the same nursery back in the day. And I was just concerned about all the spotting I was getting on the one that I received. So I ordered a backup and then another backup, <laughs> but they were all with the spotting in the back here. And then I treated them as if they had a virus, which you can't treat, but I separated everybody from the rest of my collection. Three years later, I have the feeling there's nothing wrong with this orchid. It's just one of those attributes that she gets this weird blotching there on the back of her leaves because the blooms have been pristine for three consecutive years. And despite my neglect in 2020, because I really, really had already made my peace with this orchid, well, both of them, and I was actually thinking I was gonna get rid of them by the end of the season. But with blooms like these, no markings, no blemishes, nothing, I'm keeping them. But I wanted to show you something, and I hope it shows on camera, how one has a little bit of a darker flaring going on, on the petals and the sepals, and the other one doesn't show that as much. A little bit on this bloom here, but the other ones look pretty just orange to me. Valencian oranges, orange kind of thing. Beautiful, beautiful. And I do detect a small, slight fragrance, but maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I can't be sure. I would say there's apricot in there somewhere, but again, I am not going to be quoted on that because it could just be the color that is proving to play tricks in my mind. But yeah, I wanted to bring 
the other orange nugget out to show you how one differs from the other one. But they're both still very beautiful, but it's this one, Boss Marcus and Orchid Lore, that I dedicate to you to say thank you ever, ever so much for your support here on Ninja Orchids. Very, very much appreciated. This is a Tolumnia I wish I could identify, but I can't because my Tolumnias are blooming randomly and all over the place. So let's have a look at the tag and see if it's anywhere close. So this should be Tolumnia Gyrac Rainbow Soft Pink. Yeah. Many years ago, I bought a batch of 10 Tolumnias, or was it? Yeah, I started with 10 Tolumnias. They all had labels and all the labels went with the pertaining Tolumnia into its little special basket. And now as they are blooming, they are not coming out according to the names. Wait until you see Snow White. <laughs> agriculture Mamata, I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away. But for Agriculture Mamata, I have this gorgeous little random Tolumnia. I would like to say it's a red devil, but it's not. The red devil didn't have any of their pink around the edges. But isn't she adorable? This is a first time bloomer for this Tolumnia. And it's pretty impressive how many blooms she has presented us with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I can count correctly. I always go cross-eyed when I count blooms. But still, that's more than some of the more established Tolumnias have given me on their first time blooms. So cute, so much detail. They might be small, but oh, they are mighty. Not mighty small, but just look at all what's going on behind the blooms. Look at all that detail behind the blooms, especially this with this one. It reminds me back here with the two white markings there of giraffe ears. You know, when you see a giraffe and they've got the fuzzy little white tufts on the ears, and the little horn up there, that to me from the back looks like giraffe ears. So cute. My little Tolumnia, no ID, agriculture, mamata. Thank you very, very much for being on my channel. Sorry, I'm starting to sound all cutesy, but with these blooms, I start to sound cutesy. At least I'm not whispering, which I'd also do sometimes. Thank you, Agriculture Mamata, very, very much for your support here on my channel. And this is Snow White. Before I mix things up, back to back to Lumnias, Suka's home. Supposedly, this is Snow White. No, not really. I know what Snow White looks like, and this is not it, but she is smiling at you. Look at that. That is a cheeky little grin in there. But let me show you something else. Let me turn her around. Ta-da! Same orchid, same spike, two different types of blooms. And these are not faded. Oh no, they're not old blooms. They are not old blooms, so look at that. Isn't that amazing? I think it's marvelous, I love it. But Snow White, it isn't. It's got lots more pink spots in there than in there. And the smile is more evident. Two eyes, the nose, and the smile. <laughs> there we go, next to each other. Isn't that cool? So Suka's home, I can't identify which Tolumnia this is. I've always wanted a Corona Tolumnia, but I don't think this is a Corona either. But they are still cute. It's also a first time bloomer. Could be one of those little funky things that first time bloomers do. Either way, Suka's home, this is for you. Say thank you to you too. My little Tolumnia 
Who knows who you are except that you are very, very pretty. She blooms for you. I hope everything is going well in your part of the world, Sukos home. Thank you ever so much for your support. For Maggie Cáceres and Promise Rodriguez, I have my Encyclia Garciana Alba blooms that are currently open to dedicate to you to say thank you so much. Also to the both of you for your support on my channel. This one has gone through a rigorous ripoff on a mount where it was previously being grown to just being placed and plonked into a semi-hydro setup of a major base of lava rock and then Akadama. And Akadama only because she is so very, very thirsty. I have not seen any roots grow yet from these two new growths that I've been watching closely. I can see that this little growth that I was protecting by not over flushing the orchid on the repot, it is extending. I'm not seeing any deterioration on the pseudobulbs that weren't already all wrinkly with the concertina leaves. I've got buds still coming. There's three over there. And other than that, I have a feeling that I'm going to be able to get away with this. Unless she's pulling energy from everything she has going on. She is a big orchid. Very big and got some blooms down there that we had to, yeah, unfortunately deal with from the repot. But I think all in all, if I can get the growths that grow up to the top here, if their roots can get into some media or find the, the nice humid environment, this little contraption of an orchid setup is going to work for Encyclia Garciana Alba. And I am really very, very pleased to be able to dedicate the blooms that are currently open to Maggie Cazares and Promise Rodriguez because quite honestly, I was not expecting her to bloom after what I did to her. I would have forgiven her if she just dumped all the blooms, but no, not only is she blooming beautifully where expected, but her perfume is incredible. There's more buds in here as well. Her perfume reminds me of the most beautiful talcum powder, and I am not a fan of talcum powder at all. But this is a talcum powder that is just exquisite. And she has the fragrance whether the sun is shining or not, which makes it even better because we've had some very dull days and I can still smell her. Granted, with the orchid that is coming up next, I have to be up close, but nothing will compete with what's coming up next. But still, she is doing so well so far. I always have my paintbrush with me and my alcohol because in a stage like this, there's a good chance of mealybugs and possibly scale. But so far, I might have to look into this apex when I finish filming. But some of the damage you see is from a puppy. <clears throat> yes, it became a chew toy for a hot minute there, but nope, that's old damage and won't hurt to take care of that. There's some glistening there. So I'm constantly checking the leaves, especially on this one, now that it has to recover from what I did to it. But that was a quick update, but Maggie Cáceres and Promise Rodriguez, thank you very, very much for being here on my channel. You're so very much appreciated. I hope that you're doing well and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Here are some numbers. 43 plus, 33 in total, 104. Yep. 
What does that mean? Well, my berry odor has 43 plus spikes on her. I have, to date, collaborated with 33 channels on my Care Collab initiative. 33. And 104 Care Collab videos that I have participated in and all the channels that have participated for that orchid, the Care Collab playlist totals 104 videos. And all of this since the 5th of January. So what does that tell you about my berry odor? A massive thank you to 33 channels for doing all those videos with me, for supporting the initiative. And if I have time, with regards to how long this video is, I will be listing all the channel names in a scroll credits kind of feature. Because if I list them all now, we'll be here until sunrise. But what I will do is every single channel will have a link in the description, if YouTube allows it. Sometimes they can be a little bit finicky and fussy with regards to how many links you can put in a description. So if that video doesn't get any restrictions on it or goes to spam or something like that, then 33 channels will be linked in the description below. If not, the credits will prove who you are and know that I am ever, ever so grateful. And my Dendrobium Berryoda, she blooms for all of you to say thank you so much. We have more to go. Everybody has more orchids to feature. Again, if you see any, any orchids at all, at any given time in my collection, this is a care collab that I'm thoroughly enjoying connecting with all the channels and seeing all the grow methods. If you see any orchids that we share, we have in common, please, please email me. My email is in the description below but to the 33 channels for your 104 videos. I have 43 spikes of my Dendrobium berry odor to say thank you to all of you so very, very much. Wow, who'd have thought, huh? And there's more in the pipeline. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.